Now, when you clicked on this video, you may have been wondering, Julian, what could you possibly have learned in just one week of medical school? And I'm here to tell you a lot, <laughs> a lot. That That's the short answer. I've learned so much about myself, about medical school, about my life, about my future even, just in one week of medical school. And stay tuned if you wanna hear a little bit more about it. But before we get into the video, of course, my name is Julian. Uh, welcome to Julian to the MD. If you're a return subscriber, I really appreciate it. If you're new, you know, I would love it if y'all could subscribe to my page and like this video. Uh, but without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and get into the video. So if you've been keeping up with me on my channel or on social media or anything, then you know that I just finished my first week of medical school at the University of Maryland in Baltimore. Um, and so this week, I would say has been very, very, very trying, very tiring, exciting, traumatizing, uh, and I can use a bunch more <laughs> adjectives to explain the week. Um, but you know, it's been really fun. Uh, I've definitely enjoyed learning things that directly related to my career field. And so that's what's been nice uh, compared to, you know, college where you learn so many different things. But also with that being in medical school, the volume of information is so high every single day that a lot of the time it's really hard to keep up with the lectures while you're in lecture, study after class, take notes on all the PowerPoint slides, do Anki cards and all of that. And so uh, I'm just going to tell you all a few things that I learned about myself, my schedule and all of that, that I think will be of benefit to me in the future, hopefully now that you know I know. <laughs> so I wrote a few, few notes on my phone just to, you know, keep me on track because I'm really good at ranting now. Um, but the first thing that I would say that I learned this week is to be very intentional with my time. And I say that because there's such a, like I said, a large volume of information that we're expected to, you know, process every single day. And so what comes with that is, of course, going to lecture. If you don't go to lecture, then watch the PowerPoint first pass. And then, you know, a lot of the time there isn't enough time to take notes on each slide, especially if you go to lecture like I did last week. Um, they just move so quickly that, you know, you can't really take detailed notes. And so, you know, going through and taking detailed notes after class, which takes at least an hour for me for every like PowerPoint, uh, sometimes an hour and a half. Uh, and so that takes up a lot of time out of my day. And then, you know, just reviewing the notes, because of course you don't want to just write the notes and just leave them. So I, I like to review my notes as soon as I write them or at least the day of, or maybe sometimes the day after, depending on how much time I have, as I'm talking about right now. <laughs> um, and then I also like to do my Anki cards for those that same day so that I kind of like reinforce that knowledge multiple times throughout the same day. And then, you know, go on to review it with the Anki cards later on as well. And so, you have to be very intentional with your time, especially being that, you know, you still have to take care of yourself outside of this. And so, you know, I still have to get lunch after, you know, I leave anatomy lab uh, from like maybe like 12 to one ish during that time before I actually start studying so that I can, you know, feel my brain. You don't have to get coffee sometimes. Uh, and of course, like I like to go to the gym. And so that's been a struggle for me this week. I only went once, but this next week um, I'm planning on, you know, like putting it into my schedule and just stopping studying at a certain time. And then I, I could also do Anki cards while I'm on like the stair uh, climber at the gym as well. So that's another thing. But, you know, you just have to schedule every single thing in your schedule that you want to do that day. I've, I've been told by, you know, some of the faculty and students that, you know, they will actually schedule in lunches, like on their Google calendars, scheduling the gym, all of that, scheduling the time to sleep just to make sure you get enough sleep. And so I think that, you know, being more intentional with my time, I definitely will like make a more detailed schedule of my day and stick to it as best as I can. So yeah, well, I'll give y'all an update about how that goes. <laughs> okay, the second thing that I learned is something that I definitely should have implemented more during college, but you know, in trying to do better, I'm definitely gonna implement it more here. Um, it's okay to ask for help and to like lean on others when you know, you don't necessarily 
understand a certain topic, you're having financial troubles, you're having emotional struggles. And so um, I definitely want to lean more on others now. You know, I've always been like kind of independent or at least always wanting to be as independent as I possibly can. And, you know, working towards that and getting better at that over the years. But it's okay to not always be so independent. And I'm talking to myself when I say this because I, I have, you know, problems with asking for help especially when it comes to academics i don't know i've always just like it always makes me feel inadequate but that's not the case especially now i'm not gonna allow that to be a detriment to me you know i don't know it's not really pride i'm i'm a very humble person i don't i wouldn't let my pride get in the way of you know my career my academic success and so um in doing that i definitely want to you know start going to tutoring even when you know i understand things just to kind of reinforce that and you know find more ways to you know be more effective in learning the um content that they're teaching us every day and so i also want to start going to counseling just before things you know kind of speed up more because i've been told by other med students that there are times where it gets worse which is reasonable i i wasn't being delusional and not thinking that you know it would get worse uh, at some point and i definitely want to just have like a foundation to lean back on when things get more difficult so that i don't go down you know that you know that that hole that a lot of us go down sometimes when we're stressed out and struggling and so yeah i definitely want to lean more on others in the present and in the future all right this next one listen listen I learned that sleep is sometimes more than finishing those last 50 Anki cards. Okay, see, at the beginning of the week, and, and y'all, it's only been a week, but I've, I've learned so much. Um, but at the beginning of the week, I really was, you know, studying all day in the library from about 1 to 8 uh, when the library closed. And then I was coming home, cooking dinner, studying while I was cooking dinner. And then after dinner, after I ate dinner and watched TV for maybe like 20, 30 minutes, I would literally lay in my bed about to fall asleep and still study my Anki cards. And at that point, I had to realize I was not grasping any of the material. I was just trying to like speed through them. So I was just kind of like glancing at them, understanding them just like a little bit and then just hitting like good, great, great. And then I wouldn't see it for another two, three days, which it doesn't make sense in the long run. So um, I now know that sleep is more important sometimes than finishing, you know, that last book page, that last page of notes. You know, time is of essence. And while it is very important to, you know, get everything done that you need to get done, I've learned over the years that sleep, without sleep, you won't have the energy to grasp the material tomorrow and once you throw your sleep cycle off one day then it'll be messy for the rest of the week and so basically by trying to finish those last 50 Anki cards finish those last two pages of notes you're really gonna make the rest of your week even harder and then you may not grasp that material and so it's better to just you know give yourself some space to not always match your schedule perfectly to not always finish every single task that you have to completion when you know it'll be at a detriment to your health um mental physical all of that in the long run and so you know there will be times where where i i will do that again i'm i'm not i'm not being delusional and saying that you know i never will but uh, i think it's all about being conscious of you know what you're doing and how you're taking care of yourself and all of that so Stay tuned. <laughs> okay, so this next thing I have is kind of like, it, you know, it's kind of motivational and I, I I love it. Um, But, you know, I learned that I'm more capable than I actually know and actually believe a lot of the times. Um, You know, I haven't always been the most confident person. I've talked about this in other videos on my old page, but, you know, I haven't always been the most confident person in my academic abilities, you know, especially now coming into this new space where, you know, everybody is smart. A lot of people know much more than you coming in. Um, they've had like more life experience. I, I kind of dealt with imposter syndrome this week and I haven't dealt with that in a long time since my freshman year of college. And so that was kind of like a lot for me. Um, I was struggling just like trying to compare myself to other students. Um, and while, you know, of course that won't be the last time that I'll do that, you know, it, it's just, who we are as people a lot of time we only really compare ourselves to other people who are you know doing the same thing that we're doing because 
it's, it's just kind of natural like it's just a natural thing like that, that that we do and um so i learned that you know i actually do know a lot and i'm capable of learning just as much if not more than the rest of those students in my class who you know are already proficient in things that i'm not and so um you know just studying and, and especially going through the week as the week progressed i was struggling at the beginning a lot um but as the week progressed and i kind of like got more passes through you know the material from earlier in the week and later in the week uh did more anki cards repetitively every single day um i learned a lot and it actually made me happy and i was really having fun which is kind of odd studying yesterday just because it was saturday and i was able to review everything and it's like i was actually getting things and stuff was clicking together and i don't know it just made me happy and it made me believe in myself like just a little bit more and so yeah, I learned that this weekend, you know, I'm going to keep that inside, you know, dur especially during those times when I am struggling and not feeling as confident and, you know, kind of feeling, you know, like I'm not smart sometimes, you know, it, it, it is what it is. But uh, I'm going to keep that like right here in my heart, right here, um, right here in my head, my spirit. Yeah. All right. And now for the last thing that I learned, I mean, I learned a lot more, but I'm not gonna make this video too long because I think it's already, you know, on the long side. But I learned to just be kind and like be kind to myself, number one, and to be positive. Um, you know, it's already hard enough, at, like as it is. And so being negative won't really change the fact that I'm here and I have to do this and that I want to do this and that I will do this. Um, and so being negative will only make things harder because I've always been told what you speak will like come over your life and it can take over. And so if you're constantly being negative about, you know, what you're going through, if I'm being negative about class, the lectures, taking notes, doing Anki cards, having late nights, not being able to talk to you know some of my family friends every day, not being able to like enjoy outside every day, then that'll only make things worse. And so, you know, just like I'm just gonna be kind to myself and be positive when I am stressed out. I'm gonna thank God for the fact that I'm here and that I have the. Um, the opportunity to you know be a medical student because many people don't get into medical school um, and they don't get accepted and so I'm here and so I'm blessed and I'd rather be stressed doing something that I love than like stressed out doing something that I hate and not like reaching my fullest potential and so I'm just gonna be positive there will be times where you know I will be negative again like I'm saying I'm not perfect but it's just I'm working on it and I want to be more conscious of how I speak about my life and so this throughout this week I was just like oh like you know everything is going perfectly fine you know I don't understand the material right now but I will because I'm gonna study hard and so I would just say that out loud to myself talk to myself in the mirror daily affirmations in the morning listening to those videos on YouTube and so yeah, I just want to be more positive and hopefully I can have an impact on others around me too because, you know, as med students, you know, we can, you know, we, we kind of leech on each, other, each other's feelings sometimes. And so if we're all studying and tired and stressed out, you know, that kind of brings everybody down. So, you know, I just want to be like more positive and like bring light to the group uh, and help others as well. And so, yeah. That is all for this video, though. I really appreciate y'all watching. Um, if y'all want to see my med school journey, then please subscribe down below and like this video. But I'll let y'all go. Peace out.